and you get fucking on video. That's false. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. Today we're looking at more Karens. It's been a good two to three weeks since I've made a Karen video, so why not? Before we jump into these Karens, though, at the time of recording this video, I'm at 995,000 subscribers. So if you could just subscribe so I can hit a milli, I'll give you a hug, dude. Swear to God. Anyways, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet so we can just dive into these Karens, but I, I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are the realest. Appreciate all the support I've been getting recently, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at these Karens. Are you condescending and no. talking down to me, man? I'm not. I'm actually asking. Oh, questions. really? Are, are you on a new medication at all? No. Okay. I'm not. Okay. Is there anything that's Who changed? are you, Hastings? Well, I I mean, you can clearly see that he's a police officer, Karen. What a silly question. So at the start of the video, it looks like the Karen actually called the police. And, you know, they're taking her call. They pull up. And right as the police come, the Karen is giving attitude. I believe that's the correct backstory. I decided to kind of do some digging in the comments to get some backstory on this. But, yeah. I'm an officer of Portland Police. I'm an ECIT officer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And you're really um, an expert. Well, I mean, I'm not a uh, psychiatrist or something. No, you're not. But, okay. And I'm the fucking smartest person you have ever fucking met. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hate to break this to you, Karen, but, uh, I think your reality is a little bit warped if you genuinely think that. Usually smarter people can show others that they're smart without saying f three times in a sentence. But honestly, chat, I think she may be right, you know? Who knows if this person has a 200 IQ score? That very well may be the case. So get the f down f off of my ass. Did you go to college, Hastings? Sure did. You did? Mm -hmm. What'd you study? Social sciences. Oh, social sciences. That's great. Oh, minor. Oh, minor. Like, dude, you asked the dude if he went to college. Did you not expect a response? Imagine calling the cops on a call. I don't know what this lady called the cops for. It might not even be anything serious. It probably isn't now that I think about it because it's a Karen. But imagine calling the cops, they show up, and then you just disrespect them when they show up. Like, you're just wasting their time and you're wasting your own. I have a in finance with honors degree. I'm a certified financial planner. I'm also an attorney of law. Wow, you decided to go to college and get an education like most other people. Not really sure what she's trying to do here. Maybe she's trying to uh, sh assert her dominance, you know, as Karens do. And I know my fucking rights. What's your bar number? I don't fucking know that. Douche. You don't know that? Coming out of my vagina. Yeah, this is just an easy way of, like, really realizing that this lady just doesn't know what she's talking about when she says stuff like this. That's what you are. No, your behavior is very erratic. The cop is spitting facts, okay? This lady is just acting like a complete buffoon. Disrespecting cops right when they show up for your call? For what reason? What is this gonna do? Like, are, are you gonna accomplish anything by acting like this? Oh, is it? And Jamie, every time I just try to have a normal conversation with you, it just goes right to insults. Um, is that against the law? No, lady, it's not against the law, but, you know, they're just trying to reason with you and have a conversation, but it's kind of impossible when you're just insulting them. Even though there's practically no reason for you to insult them because you were the one who called them in f the first place. I swear to God, dude, every single one of these Karen episodes I make, the Karens just get dumber and dumber. They're evolving backwards. Is it a, is it against the law to insult a man in blue? Can you understand it's how it's not a normal conversation? Uh, you guys get called Why all the time. And why we're concerned? And you get and you take down the blacks and you get fucking on video. That's false. Ah! Ah! Uh, um uh what? Good lord, it's almost like her soul left her body. Hey Karen, why don't you do a solo on America the Beautiful? I want him arrested! For those who have no idea who she's talking about, she's talking about the guy that she called the cops on. She called the cops on somebody to get them arrested, and now she's screaming as loud as she can to try to make it seem like the cops are assaulting her, and then she gets confused in why they're not arresting the person she called for. Karen logic, everybody. Karen logic. Face! We're not taking a report from you, Jamie. Especially when you're gonna scream like that. Have a good day. Officer, back up. 
Well, I didn't think it could get any worse than the screaming, but now she is uh, walking in front of the car to try to prevent them to leave. Dude, lady, what like what are you doing? If you keep this up, honestly, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if this lady gets arrested just because of how insane she's acting. I know the screaming isn't illegal, but isn't this illegal? Preventing cops from trying to go do their job? They're obviously trying to leave. I don't know. We'll see what happens. For what, sir? Oh, disorderly conduct. That, that type of attitude right there is probably going to end up ending you up in the hospital. Just to let you know. Oh, I'm really afraid. Okay. I'm so know. afraid of you guys. Give me a fucking break. Lady, give them a break. You are preventing them from leaving. Give them a break. This lady is so out of her mind that she, she truly believes that she's the victim in this situation. That's the best part about this. Honestly, that's the best part about Karens, honestly. They're just so, like, out of touch with reality that it's funny for everybody else. I mean, and honestly, yeah, I, I, I hope this woman gets better. She's obviously kind of, I don't know, I'm not going to diagnose, but, <laughs> dude, she's got some problems. You guys, you're going to go back over here. If you're gonna block his way or grab on his car, you've got one or two things. You can go to jail for disorderly conduct, or you can go to the mental hospital. Which one would you like? Because those are your only two options. You Hastings, you're going down. Okay. Your 401k or your 403b, consider a fucking gone, because okay. you have no retirement. Sure. Right. You get a pension, because mm -hmm. you're an employee of the state. Way to fucking go. Same. You didn't put a dime in the stock market, you loser okay. oh yeah you really got him there karen he didn't put money in the stock market oh wow well karen unfortunately for you it looks like you haven't put a single dime into your medication i honestly hate people like this the people that value their careers so much that they start to gain a large amount of pride and then they put down anybody who isn't invested in the stock market or who isn't involved in real estate or who isn't making more than a hundred grand per year like money isn't everything dude come on we have a life to live we're humans we're not goddamn money printers dude we're human just because you're a public employee you you deserve more than the private sector employees give me a fucking break i have to deal with people that behave like this so oh like you god i am so sorry so <laughs> Oh, God damn, dude. This cop is not winning against this Karen at all, dude. Just get her arrested by this point, dude. I know it's not legal, but it would make me happy. You're going down, douchebag. Douchebag. You're going viral. Face. I'm a big man, and I'm going to pull out my and see how big it is, and I've got the biggest of them all. I've got the biggest. Jamie, I'm going to ask you one time to get out of the way. Or what? You're going to go to the hospital. Based on the behavior that you're exhibiting, if you're not going to think rationally and just move out of our way simply, and that's not a place that you want to go, we will take you there. Or jail, that's your second option. One thing I've realized with these cops, dude, is they've been pretty damn patient. I don't know, like, this lady has been screaming, like, I think three separate times now, and they just walk away. You know, they're acting super calm about it. They just realize, oh, okay, this lady's kind of crazy. We're not gonna get too involved, but I don't know, dude. I think by this point, she's kind of just acting like a complete idiot, and she needs to learn her lesson somehow, so uh, hopefully this uh, ends up better than I think it will. Or jail. Oh my god, I'm so afraid of jail i mean karen i'm afraid of jail you should be afraid of jail too. Karen, you're a karen you're not gonna survive in jail because uh, 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 jail they outnumber you you face and you're afraid of them jail? yeah Why would be of jail? oh because you're not a security guard inside jail you're just the big douchebag on the outside of jail who gets to put everybody in jail Jail's a controlled environment. Out here's not controlled. There's a lot more risks out here. Oh, the little Hastings boy who got bullied because he's a white man and white men have small dicks. All right, so I'm just going to skip to the ending because I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of getting tired of listening to this lady talk. So we're just going to skip to the end. I kind of want to see what happens. Why? Why are you arresting me? 
transmitter back. Transmitter. And that's how it ends, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Let's go. My day is made. I'm happy. I'm going to hit 1 million subs today. Let's go. Money.